Urgent alert. A tornado is on the ground. Seek shelter immediately. So again, this is the one southeast of Loveland. Let me go back to the screen for the second. But this is the one near Loveland and Grandfield. So again, that's a tornado on the ground. Moving southeast, we do have a debris signature there. It's not nearly as large as the last one, but again, it could grow in size. It could do something you know, funky here as it moves down to the southeast towards Duval and Grandfield. So once again, if you are in the pink polygon in either one, you've got to continue to stay in your storm shelter, basement or closet away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. Uh, this one might also be occluding because the rotation did weaken here on the latest scan. Let's we'll see what the CC looks like. And this is currently moving southeast right now. Also, this one is rain wrapped. So, another rain wrapped tornado here. This is a anti cyclonic tornado. I mean, this is the weirdest day I think we've ever had. This is now an anti cyclonic tornado. I, I, I wasn't even paying attention to that aspect of it. So, what that means is that this is going clockwise, which only 2% of tornadoes do that usually in the United States. So if this couldn't get any weirder, this is going clockwise. I, I don't even know. If I, I don't know if I can process all this. This is just the weirdest and wackiest last hour of coverage I think I've ever had. I mean, this is just. It's. Just, I I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this is just so weird. I mean, that's. I mean, it's. it's this stuff is possible. It's just. It's very. You know, uncommon. Now, this tornado near Hollister, again, if you're, if you're just tuning in, this is our PDS tornado. It started here. Uh, I'll do a quick track of this real quick, just for those that are, again, just tuning in here. Yeah, this was a PDS tornado, a large and destructive tornado that was on the ground. Uh, this was probably a very strong tornado, by the way. That was its track. It did a U-turn. We had something like this earlier, but it was not that strong. This tornado that just developed down here is anticyclonic, which is clockwise, which is only about 2% of tornadoes do that. So we are witnessing a lot of historic events here in Oklahoma right now that are just, I mean, the first one was just insane. And then the, this one's, I mean, not super historic, but weird. I am bamboozled at this point. And this tornado, by the way, is, is still on the ground. More, like, more than likely, it's still on the ground. I'll see what the CC drop is here. What in the world? A new tornado warning has been issued. What is happening here? We got another tornado warning for Hollister and Frederick, just south of Frederick. We have a, a, a pyramid basically right now of tornado warnings. Um, I'm guessing this is the rotation that's going right over the radar site, right? Or, yeah, right over the radar site right now. So if you're in this tornado warning, this is going to be going into Texas, by the way, just north of Electra. You've got to seek shelter if you're in this warning, away from windows and on the lowest floor possible, interior room of your home or building. So for those that need a little bit of clarification here, all right, because I know this is extremely confusing. Uh, we had a PDS tornado. That was a particularly dangerous situation. It was a large tornado. That is likely lifted at this point. I don't see a reason why this... I mean, this is this is lifted. We have a tornado on the ground now northwest of Grandfield. And we have also a new tornado warning behind this for more storm activity. So, still a lot happening here. So, once again, if you're in either of these tornado warnings, you need to continue to stay in your safe place, away from windows, and on the lowest floor possible. So, again, it's very weird. Um, I'm going to zoom back in here in just a second. I just got to do this real quick. All right. So, this is the Toyo that is more than likely still on the ground, at least. Um, that is, again, an anti-cyclonic tornado. Yeah, that's a tornado. Uh, this might go PDS, actually, um, if this continues. This is an anti-cyclonic tornado. The warning hasn't been updated, but that is a tornado that is on the ground. It looks like we have a debris signature now on radar. Going towards Grandfield. So once again, if you're in this tornado warning, you need to seek shelter immediately away from windows. Yeah, that's a strong tornado, guys. We, we got another, another strong tornado developing, and this one, again, is... It's anti-cyclonic. It's it's going clockwise. This this could this warning's gonna have to get upgraded. I think that that's again a strong couplet. We got a we got a debris signature popping up on radar. So once again, a tornado on the ground just northwest of Grandfield, Oklahoma. 
Gotta seek shelter if you're in this warning away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. In an interior room of your home or building, our other rotation is near Frederick on the south side, by the way. It could even be all the, over the radar site, too. But once again, we got another tornado on the ground right now, just southeast of Loveland, Oklahoma, going towards Grandfield. And this could also be a potentially strong and or large tornado moving southeast. I'm guessing they're going to update some of these warnings here in a second. If you guys do see any reports on Twitter, any photos, videos, anything like that, you can tweet me on Twitter at Max Velocity WX. This is a this is going to be another strong tornado heading towards Grandfield. If you're in Grandfield, you've got to run to your safe place. We got a, a, a potentially another strong tornado on the ground going towards Grandfield, Oklahoma. This is a dangerous storm right now moving down to the southeast. Again, this is anti-cyclonic. That only happens in two percent of tornadoes that ever happen in the United States. It's a very small number. So what you are witnessing right now is not common at all. It's very uncommon with this particular storm. And this is moving southeast. We got another tornado on the ground. That's a large debris ball that's popping up now on radar. I'm guessing this is going to get upgraded. You also can see that on reflectivity. We're going towards Grandfield and Duval. If you're in either of those two spots, you've got to run to your safe place, away from windows and on the lowest floor possible, and in an interior room of your home or building. This is, once again, a potentially large, but at least strong tornado that is heading down to the southeast. Now, hopefully it occludes again, but that is not looking good right now for Grandfield. What is so rare? I'm confused. It's anti-cyclonic, which means it's a clockwise tornado, which only happens in about 2% of tornadoes. The other rare part about this is that it's also strong. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, this is getting strong. The latest radar scan showing a, a, a very strong tightening here near Grandfield. Again, you've got to get to your storm shelter, your basement, your closet, or bathroom if you're in Grandfield, Oklahoma. Once again, if you're just tuning in, these, this is another tornado that's on the ground in southwest Oklahoma. We just had a large and strong tornado that was near Hollister, and this is another one that's on the ground, large and, or at least possibly large and strong. I'm not 100% sure on that yet, but this is at least a strong tornado that is picking up a lot of debris right now on the northwest side of Grandfield, Oklahoma. That right there is a very strong couplet. We got winds going toward and away from the radar in a clockwise sense. What that means is that there is an anti-cyclonic tornado happening right now. And um, again, only 2% of tornadoes do that. Most of them are clockwise. Or sorry, counterclockwise, which is um, cyclonic is what they call it. So again, this is, you know, rare. I don't know if they've ever issued a PDS for an anti-cyclonic. I'm guessing they have, but like, I just don't know the history behind that. And I'm retweeting another photo of this tornado that is on the ground. That is, again, an anti-cyclonic tornado. That is moving right now southeast. It's just so strange. I mean, I, we don't have an update on this warning for some reason. But that again, this is definitely confirmed. Oh, now we do. This is another PDS tornado that is going towards Grandfield. Again, brand new PDS tornado. This is an emergency alert. A large and strong tornado is on the ground. Seek shelter immediately. So once again, large and strong tornado is heading towards Grandfield right now. This is a large and extremely dangerous tornado that is heading towards Grandfield and Duval. This is an anti-cyclonic PDS tornado, which I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Nonetheless, this is a large tornado and a strong tornado heading towards Grandfield. If you are in Grandfield, you've got to run to your safe place now. This is a dangerous tornado that's heading down to the southeast. That CC drop is growing in size exponentially right now. So we got a lot of debris being lifted up into the atmosphere here. This is moving down to the southeast, going towards Grandfield. So once again, you've got to seek shelter immediately away from windows and on the lowest floor possible and in an interior room of your home or building. It's again going towards Grandfield right now in Oklahoma.
Press any other uh, any other updates on this. Uh, again, if you're in Grand Fields, you've got to get to your storm shelter, your basement, your closet, or bathroom, away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. Uh, they've just issued a tornado watch, by the way, which does now include, I believe, Wichita Falls. Um, so they just issued it. Yeah, here you go. So this is a small tornado watch that was just issued because of this ongoing threat, which again does include parts of North Central Texas and as well as Southwest Oklahoma. Once again, this is an area where we have um, had now two PDS tornadoes, which are large and strong tornadoes. And we have another one on the ground right now going towards the Grandfield area, but they've gone ahead and issued now a tornado watch for the next hour and a half for this entire region because of this threat that has been developing here with multiple different handoffs with these different storms. Did I say a different direction? I meant to say southeast or south if I said something else. But yeah, this is going right now southeast, kind of going south more than anything. It's going to be heading right into Grandfield, though. Yeah, you gotta seek shelter if you're in Grandfield. Away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. That is your debris signature. Again, that is a lot of debris that's being lifted up into the atmosphere on the northwest side of Grandfield and just south of Loveland, Oklahoma. Once again, that is more than likely some sort of trees, possibly even barns or uh, possibly buildings that are per currently being damaged by this tornado moving down to the southeast. And once again, that is the velocity signature. So that is our tornado that is on the ground. And we may have something developing up here as well, near Loveland. Maybe not. Maybe we do. We might have a little bit of rotation developing there as well. So heads up there. There might be more. And we might get another tornado on the back side of this, which we'll, we'll have to watch for very closely. Has a storm moved? Uh, and this storm has been moving. I mean, it's just not moving very far. Again, there's really no motion today with these storms. So, like, these storms are moving very slowly. And that's your debris signature. So that's all the debris that's being lifted up into the atmosphere. Uh, let me zoom in here. This is right on the N2370 road and E1910 road. Just on the northwest side right now of Grandfield. So once again, if you are anywhere in this pink polygon, you've got to get to your storm shelter basement immediately. You know, just get to the lowest floor possible. You know, if you have a mattress or something like that, a helmet, you know, get those immediately if you're in Grandfield, just in case it's heads in your area. Again, it could also turn the other direction. Um, we also have possibly rotation developing here. I'm not entirely sure. We got, we got to investigate that. It looks like we have rotation now on the other side of this. So... um. We could get twins. I mean, I'm not rolling that out at this point. I mean, this has just been so wacky, but that, that's another area of rotation now on the other side. That's trying to develop at least. Uh, this is the confirmed one on the left. So this is your tornado, which is, again, heading southbound. And then on the other side of this warning, we got another area. We just got a new tornado warning as well. A new tornado warning has been issued. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know, I, I've never seen something this wild in my life on radar. I'm just going to be honest with you. I, this is very, very, very strange. I mean, we have another tornado warning. That is for this area of rotation that's trying to develop near Loveland. We Again, we got our PDS large and strong tornado northwest of Grandfield moving south. That's Grandfield, Oklahoma. And we got another back end rotation here. I think we have rotation up here too. Possibly, or actually, I think the radar just updated. Um, so I, we don't see it on radar, but there's a hook right here. We might have rotation there. I don't see it on the velocities. That's what that's worn for. So yeah, there's your hook. So once again, we have a tornado on the ground. We have two other areas of rotation. There, the large tornado again is northwest of Grandfield. Let me go to the last seven frames here. Uh, actually, we just got a new radar scan. Let's jump ahead here. All right, this tornado looks like it may be occluding. So we may still have a tornado here, but it's it's not nearly at least looking as strong. We have another area of rotation developing here. We have a possible area of rotation developing near Loveland. It's moving southbound. This is moving south. This is also developing, kind of just spinning in place right here. So that's what we have right now on these storms, all right? Let's go back to the correlation coefficient once again. So again, debris still being lifted up into the atmosphere. That is just north of Route 70 near E1910 just northwest of Grandfield. 
But this is your tornado that is still in progress. Um, again, right here northwest of Granfield. That is what's the PDS tornado. That is the particularly dangerous situation that is currently ongoing here near Granfield, all right? And then this is our other pocket of rotation that is now developing on the other side of this particular, you know, tornado. So again, if you are in this warning, you need to seek shelter immediately away from windows and on the lowest floor possible in an interior room of your home or building and away from windows. And again, we're in southwest Oklahoma right now. Um, again, we've had now two different large tornadoes. This one's the second one. We could have another one developing here north of Grandfield, though. And we got another one possibly near Loveland. So we got multiple different storms right now rotating. <laughs> 